G'day everyone, it's SDS Supercoach, reviewing Supercoach content for you. I'm here to present the uh, my season review of AFL Supercoach 2023. This will be the last video that I do for this season, but I will be doing more content coming down the line. I'll be doing um, NBL Supercoach and I'll be doing uh, so some content on that. And uh, I'll do some a, a video on uh, a potential 2024 side I have up. At the minute, now I do apologize. This is coming up on a Tuesday. Now, why is that? Um, so, uh, over the past 10 days or so, I've had a couple of heart palpitations. So, they're not too serious. It's just I've never experienced that before. Uh, so, it happened one time, I think, on this not previous Saturday, but the last Saturday. Uh, it happened for the first time. I had a bit of a panic attack. Uh, I don't really know why I'm going to detail about this, but whatever. Um, and then it happened again, I, was, I think it was, yeah, it was yesterday. I was in hospital for a little bit, so um, I, just for four hours or so, just checking my heart and all that, and uh, so that sort of thing. And um, now I've got a halter monitor. So if you don't know what that is, uh, I've got it. This is one of the things. I have about six of these connected to my body over the next 24 hours. It's nothing serious, so you guys don't need to worry about me, um, but it's just... Yeah, it's a bit of a weird one. Uh, never really experienced it before. So I was just checking my heart over the next 24 hours. It's a pain in the ass. It's basically like a, a fanny pack connected to me for 24 hours. I feel like Bane from Batman. Uh, just a load of wires connected to me, just checking my heart. So I'm all good. Uh, don't have to worry about me, guys. Um, I did have, uh, while I was in hospital for about four hours, just checking my heart and all that. And everything's all good. This is just double, triple checking that my heart's all good. I got blood pressure. I, I got uh my blood got tested. It's all good. So, but I I, I on that Monday I um I uh, did sort of struggle to get myself a bit of motivation. I was a bit tired, all that sort of thing. Um, I'll tell you what, this is going to be an absolute pain in the ass to sleep with uh tonight. So don't think I'm going to have a great sleep tonight. But it is what it is. Um, yeah. So anyway, that was my whole sort of thing there. Back to my season review. Uh, so. For the last round, I'm not really going to review this round. It was my highest score of the season, though, uh, 2,753. And our final season rank is our best ever rank we've had, 613. Uh, went up 140 spots and uh, won a few grand finals, so that was good. And, yeah, there we go, guys. Like, that is the season done and dusted. It's been a massive year. Um, we'll slow up in terms of uploads and all that for AFL Supercoach, but I will be doing some NBL content. Um, I'll try not to do too much of it. We'll see what uh, interest it has, but I will be doing that with Supercoach with DR and Causa, Corey Blackledge, uh, for this season um, for a few months. Because uh, I, I won't lie, I feel like I need a bit of a break this at uh, this point, but I'm happy to do that. Um, one of, I don't know what the schedule is going to be, but that's totally fine. NBL Supercoach has just been released, so super excited for that. But we will get into uh, AFL Supercoach 2023 for the last time because that's all she wrote. Um, yeah, I'll be pretty excited uh, uh, to get my reward for finishing inside the top 1011. Uh, just super thrilled about that. So I won't go too much into detail from last week. I'm sure you've seen a lot of reviews from, from guys. Um, before me with their season reviews. So I'll try to do this as quick as possible. And I have some thank yous at the end as well. Uh, look, we VC Jack Sinclair. I wanted to VC Bont, but we didn't really have a loop because we had Madden, but Marshall played on the 435 and then English was going to play. So that wasn't really going to work. So um, yeah, so I just chucked the VC on Sinclair. He had good history against Brisbane. The move actually was the VC Ryan Marshall. So I thought the big O was pretty restrictive rucks, but whatever. Yeah, so we got some really good scores this week. Uh, we looped Darcy Cameron and Ben Keys uh, using... I know, uh, Yeah, so I had Ben Keys around here. I was going to loop Cameron and Marich, and then I just realized, oh, crap, I can actually loop Cameron with Keys. So I just got Keys on field. That's an extra 25 points. Super happy about that. So, yeah, really good round. Um, yeah, there's not really too much to report. The majority, uh, the majority of my players put in a good shift bar from Day and Taranto and Keys. Everyone else scored a ton, so super thrilled about that. And yeah, look, um, I guess we'll go over 
my trades for the season. And I guess we can also go over um, uh, my overall positioning throughout the season. So as you guys know, round one was an absolute sinker for me this season. Uh, I was 81,563. So we had a long way to track back, but it was round one. So it's pretty pretty easy to quickly go down the ranks, uh, go up the ranks. And uh, yeah, so round two, 57,000. And we eventually got inside the top 10K in round seven. Had a really good week uh, to get inside the, t- uh, to get 5,500 here. Uh, but then uh, where was the round I held Clayton Oliver? So we got to 3,000. And this is where I held Clayton Oliver right here. Dropped down about 2,000 spots over the past four weeks there. Uh, then we had a great week in round 15 to go back up to 3,249. I believe this was the round where I actually traded out Clayton Oliver finally. And yeah, we, we just slowly kept going up the ranks. And yeah, this is how we finished. First time ever being inside the top 1,000 is a good feeling. Um, I, so I'm... Super thrilled about that. Uh, really good season uh, for me. And I hope you guys all had a great season as well. So I'm I'm just really ecstatic with how I went. So really thrilled about that. I guess we'll go over all my trades that I did for this season. So we'll go from the bottom up. We'll go from the bottom up. Uh, so we traded out Tom Stewart and Nat Fife. Uh, Fife was a shocking pick. Um, that's a lesson learned for next year. Not starting, she's were really hurt and brought in uh, Dacos using Stewart because we thought that he did a knee injury for four to six. Uh, he was actually only there for one or two weeks. Um, then before the price ro- uh, price changes, I traded out Flanders, Liam Jones and Campbell Chesser. Campbell Chesser wasn't really doing much for us at the end of the day. Uh, just wasn't really making any money. So I just thought it was a great opportunity to trade him out while we can, because uh, he just wasn't going to make much money. You want to be trying to trade out blokes that just aren't going to make much at all. Liam Jones, uh, I believe I traded him over Callahan in this round because just in case Jack Bowes was a priority for next week, I could have afforded him, but that didn't matter. So Liam Jones, yeah, um, I think a lesson learned next year is to trust myself a bit more on certain picks. I didn't really rate the Liam Jones pick, didn't rate the Doherty pick, but I ended up going with them. So um, that's a bit of a lesson learned there. Sam Flanders, well, he worked out in the end eventually, but uh, it was just bad timing, wasn't it? Uh, playing forward pocket, basically. But in the second half of the season, especially when Stephen King came in as coach ahead of uh, replacing Stuart Dew, he started playing a lot more midfield, which what we were hoping for, but we just didn't get it, get it early in the season. Zeeble was a good pick for a bit until uh, he started becoming sub and all that sort of thing. He slowed up a bit during the season. Uh, Kate Chen was a great trade in and uh, Will Setterfield, a bit of a wasted player there. Uh, this, I think this was one of my best trades of the season, getting out Sean Darcy. If you asked me this about three months ago, I thought it was a bit of a wasted trade, but it actually worked out super well. So had to get in big Tim English, absolute gun. Can't believe he didn't get injured at all this year. So full credit to him. Uh, this was my only ruck trade of the season. So that helps you so much because the ruck line, you just want to lock in these certain blokes and don't want to worry about it. So that was really the thought process there. Getting in English and just hope, hoping that English and Marshall were guys that uh, I just didn't have to make any trades from there. So that really helps uh, around the field making other trades there. Callahan out for Rouston was a bit of a waste because I literally traded out Rouston the following week. Brought in Van Royen, uh, Van Royen, however you say it. Uh, he was super, he was really good as well for me. He uh, that was a really good trade. Can we stop pressing on these plays? And Doherty got injured here. I wanted to hold him, but he was out for a couple of weeks. Brought in Tom, brought Stewart back in, and that was a really good decision. Uh, Jinby, McKenzie, and Baker all out for. Oh yeah, uh, this was probably probably my worst decision of the season. This was back in round six. I had the option to bring in Darcy Parrish, Zach Butters, or Stephen Canelio. I went, uh, for the whole week, I was really keen on getting in a point of difference play like Zach Butters. And unfortunately, I said to myself, you know what? I need a midfielder. I really need a midfielder in my team. Brought in Darcy Parrish, who's quite injury prone. Uh, and that and bringing him in, in round six caused... Um, 
it had a lot of risk in it, uh, hoping that he could hold up for the whole season and clearly not. So I could have brought in Zach Butters here and I didn't. So that really hurt. Um, that would have been my, just about my best trade this season because no one really owned Zach Butters at that point in the year. And bringing him in would have been amazing. But, oh, well, Matt Johnson was a good trade. He made, made about 200K, uh, I think even more than that from this price. Matty Roberts, this was just super stiff because he just got uh, injured in the first game, in the first half and got subbed out. Round seven, we brought in Will Day, which I actually think turned out to be a good uh, trade in the end because uh, he started off really slow for like the first six weeks, but really had a good end to the season for Hawthorne there and brought in Seamus Mitchell as well, which was a good pick. Trade out McKenna and Wilmot. Then round eight, we got rid of Setterfield. I believe this was Fergus Green, which was a good pick. And Lockie Cowan, not, not the greatest. Sam Simpson was a bit of a bad uh, uh, trade in there. Chin Cotter was good. And Clayton Oliver, this was two rounds before he got injured. And then I held him forever. So that was a bit unfortunate. Then Parrish did his calf there. Ridley got concussed. And Van Broyen made his money there. We're in Sinclair, Merritt and Weddle. Those were three really good trade-ins. So I'm very happy with that. And then one of my better trades of the season as well here was Alan Davy Jr. for Bailey Humphrey. That was that was extraordinary, extraordinary how well that paid off. And uh, uh, this was Harry Sharp, who played one game, got subbed out and didn't feature again. So he was just a dud pick. But Hopper for Brayshaw was a very good pick. Brayshaw was a super good pick for me. Only one score below the ton uh, since bringing him in in round 10. Then uh, we tried out Radicalia, Seamus Mitchell and Sam Simpson to bring in Eddie Ford, Mullen and Dawson. Those were some uh, nice trades. Uh, Mullen just saved me a lot of money. Then round 13, we got rid of Zebel, who just wasn't looking the same and was about to drop buckets in cash. And we brought in Lockie Neal, which was a pretty good move. Weddle for Maritz just to cash in on some more money. Then um, probably not the greatest two trades, but it is what it is. Chin Cotter and Ford to Darcy Cameron, which gave me ruck cover. And Ben Keyes. Ben Keyes started off really well, but then really faded off. So uh, probably could have got in Cornelio and someone else instead, but it is what it is. And then round 16, we finally pulled the pin on Clayton Oliver. We were holding him this whole time. So that's a massive uh, thought process there. Imagine if I didn't hold Oliver, probably one less trader would have ran out of trades and not not been able to trade Dacos. But uh, brought in Christian Petrarca, really good decision there. Very happy with that. And Bailey Humphrey for Harry Hillberg. I actually think this was a good trade because he did pay off towards the end. Some pretty average scores, but not any terrible scores for me. Uh, then this was Tom Green because he got in. Uh, was this? Yeah, this was Tom Green. He got injured, uh, injured his hamstring for a few weeks. Had a really good end to the season as well. And traded out Matt Johnson. Brought in Cooper Harvey, which didn't really work out. Uh, yeah, so Matt Johnson was just cover there. And I just thought, oh, I might as well save myself 200K uh, for a bloke that should be playing for most of the season, but he didn't. And then we brought in James Sisley, which worked out some pretty average scores, but some really good scores as well. So very happy with my boy James Sisley there. Uh, then we brought in uh, Tom Libertore for Will Ashcroft. Yes, I held Will Ashcroft for that long, and it paid off pretty well until, unfortunately, he did his ACL. That's a real shame uh, and super unfortunate for an absolute gun in the competition. We brought in Libba, so thrilled about this. Now, this one, now my last trade of the season was actually pretty disappointing, but it wasn't terrible. Uh, Nick Dacos for Luke Jackson. So it was between Jackson and Zach Butters. If I brought in Zach Butters, I would have been inside the top 500. But unfortunately, I chose Luke Jackson, who wasn't terrible. He gave me a 124, 123, and a 101. So that's pretty good. But the fact I could have brought in Zach Butters uh, kind of hurts a bit. So that was a bit, a bit of a bad decision to end on the trades there. So... Um, what else? We'll move into leagues now. Um, yeah, just talking about the leagues, how I went. So I participated in 10 leagues this year, won four of them. So I won the, uh, my mates league. So that's good. It's good to get a little, um, uh, bragging rights there with all my mates. Uh, probably the worst league that I'm in, but it doesn't matter. We all play for a bit of fun, but won the league there. So super thrilled about that. Uh, as I said, good to get some bragging rights with the boys there. Um, now, this is me and Supercoach Pros League, um, where Stuart's misfits. 
he had an outstanding season. As you can see, he finished 140th. So shout out to Ryan. And thank you so much for joining that league, mate. And you're a well des well-deserved winner for that league. So well done. I think me and Brad both got knocked out in the prelims. Uh, Stuart Smith fits versus Grace's Secret. So uh, really close match up there, but uh, Ryan won it in the end and pr pretty well, and very well deserved. He was the best in our league for sure. So uh, Ryan, if you if uh, we'll probably do the SDS Times Pro League again. Uh, so let me know, Ryan, if uh, just send a uh, just put in the comments down below if you are watching. Uh, just we can send you a message and you can join our league next year for sure. Great season from you, mate. Now, this is my Hawthorne league. Uh, well, not my one. I didn't create it, but uh, Cole beat me in the gr grand final, I believe. Yep, by 24 points. So, well done to Cole there. He had an outstanding round. Um, so, that was a bit unfortunate, but well done to Cole there. Um, this is the SDS Super Coach League right here. And... Uh, I won it again. I went back to back in my own league. So I won it last year. I've won it again this year. So uh, uh, great game there by Stephen. Just a bit unlucky there. And uh, yeah, I've gone back to back in my own league. So I'm pretty thrilled about that. But I wouldn't mind someone taking the crown off me. It's my own league. I want to uh, get everyone uh, to just, yeah, just shout people out. But it's all right. Uh, we won the league back to back. So we'll do that again next year. That was good fun. Uh, this is the break evens league. Uh, this is it. Oh, I didn't know this. This is actually against Swizz in the grand final, and I did uh, beat Swizz. So shout out to Swizz, absolute legend, that bloke. Uh, and yeah, uh, won the break evens league. Uh, so shout out to them. Uh, and then in demos, oh gee, low low percentage. So make sure I got to uh, finish off this video, but. This is the uh, Damo Supercoach 3 League. Uh, Damo on Twitter there. So this was good to win. Won by about 33 points in the end. So 4 out of 10 league grand finals. Uh, 4 out of 10 leagues, I made the grand finals. So I'm thrilled about that. Yep, 10% uh, for my computer. I haven't got my charger with me. But uh, shout out to this league. This was, this was a very good league, actually. 174th out of 13,000. So very happy with the league wins, but I do have a bone to pick. Um, <laughs> uh, also, I was involved in the shorty league. Uh, I lost the grand final there by 43 points. Well done to Daniel, the underdogs. Uh, I got knocked out in straight sets in Spillers League, so that was a bit of a shame, uh, uh, considering I think I was the best ranked yep, in that. But well done to Toddy's Toys. Uh, at least he got me... Uh, this was the same bloke that knocked me out, wasn't it? Uh, to, yeah, I got knocked out by Todd. Yeah, so uh, fair enough. He he knocked me out, but he won the whole thing. So that's all right. And he did it from seventh. That's very impressive. And I was also involved in the super coach with DR League. And DR won his own league. So well done to him, mate. Uh, lost in the prelim to Janet by 38 points. So well done, mate. A great league there. Uh, super enjoyable. Now, uh, this league really pisses me off. So... This is my only money league in my gut in uh, my leagues. Mm, this burns me to the core. Um, I can't lie. So uh let's have a look. So I was clearly the best ranked in this league. Um, a few of my mates are involved in all that. And yeah, so I was and uh it's Will Stay, Liam. He got knocked out in the semi. I was going up against Ned. And uh, in the prelim, he beat me by four points and he didn't even win the whole thing. So that really burns me. And I would have outscored both these blokes if I made the grand final. So that really burns me. That Because I would have won uh, 350 if I didn't lose by four points here. That Ben Keys, uh, that Ben Keys non-goal bloody cost me in so many ways. So I would have won 350 if I didn't lose in the prelim here. And now I get zero, zero zilch. I lost 25 bucks um but whatever yeah so yeah a pretty successful um pretty successful leagues in the end so one out of one of four grand finals super thrilled about that i will be doing i think most of these leagues i'll be doing again so yeah i'm pretty happy with that um we'll go to rankings as well i want to shout out 
Uh, Jay Uzen Source, congratulations on winning uh, the whole thing. 50 grand going your way. So well done to Jay. He was outstanding in the end. So uh, well done. Well done to him. Unlucky for any of these blokes near uh, near Uzen Source, 50 Shades, Glen's Mini Legends, Dependlebury, Horse, of course, Gazza Forever, who I believe now on tw- has now got a Twitter school of super coach. So uh, follow him on Twitter. Uh, Legend Hen 23, Cats Back to Back, uh, not quite Matt. Uh, Gaudy Supreme and Catch Scratch Fever will be going home with a bit of money. So well done to all these blokes and getting really close to winning the whole comp. Hopefully one day I can be a part of that, but uh, it would cause a lot of stress. So yeah, look, this is the team. Um, I don't really know what much else to say. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this team looked. If I had to change anything, I think Himmelberg for a Luke Ryan would have been good. Um, is there anyone else in particular I was missing? Uh, probably a Ben, K- uh, probably a Zach Butters instead of Ben Keys. Those would really be the only two, and maybe Luke Jackson instead of Stephen Cornelio. Uh, sorry, Stephen Cornelio instead of Luke Jackson. Zach Butters was really the main one I missed out on this season. Luke Ryan, Caleb Sarong, he was really good, but I had a lot of good midfielders in my side, so not too fussed about that. Yeah, I'm very happy with how this season went. So um, we'll be looking to do that again next year, hopefully. Um, this is, uh, yeah, a really good season. I'm super thrilled about it. Uh, made a lot of connections along the way this season. Now I'll do some thank yous now because don't really know if there's much else to talk about now. Um, yeah, just I'm very happy with the team that I've built. I think for next year, I guess learnings heading into next season for me, uh, it, it's real uh, like for me it's definitely just trying to pick a good bloody starting team honestly I cannot pick a good starting team to to save myself um I will still be doing the same amount of research but one thing I've noticed so I play fantasy premier league and I I reckon I change my team about five six times and um I just don't really overthink it too much and I've played it for three years and all three seasons I've had re- uh, really good starting teams and good starts so I'm just wondering whether next year I sort of just try not to keep changing everything um, and just uh, obviously keep following your research but try not to change too much and probably stick to my gut a bit more on blokes like Doherty, Liam Jones, um, all that sort of thing not picking full forwards and at five um so that's sort of that sort of thing i think we will be seeing it more of a guns and rookies approach for next year uh just because not many mid prices work out i think what we're going to see is a very thin forward line for next year like i could see a world where harley reed is uh, our f2 for the season like it's going to be super thin because all these blokes are going to become midfielders um and the midfield is going to be absolutely sacked the Average level is going to be super high because we're going to get Jordan Dawson, Zach Butters, Goulden, Rosie, Dunkley, Taranto, Canelio. Um, I think Dacos is going to hold on to defender status here. So I think that's really going to be a pro- the approach. Whether I want to start Tim English next year at like, uh, like 700K, Bonds at 715 from what I've seen in terms of the uh, price projections for next year. It's a bit of a talking point there but yeah look I'll do some uh but we've got a few months to worry about uh as team picker um I think in terms of content I'm going to do in the off season so this will be the last 2023 super coach video that we talk about just because what it, uh, I feel like I've covered most things here to talk about um <laughs> Just want to say with my leagues as well, thank you for anyone that joined the leagues. I'm super thrilled about anyone uh, joining this league, uh, the SDS Supercoach League and the SDS Times Pro League. I think we'll do it again. I think we'll do an SDS Supercoach League as well uh, once again. So um, I will sort of think in my head when to release it. Maybe a bit close. I remember doing it in like early February. I might look to do it maybe close, maybe in March, I reckon, maybe a couple of weeks before the season starts, maybe a week before the season starts. 
And then the SDS Times Pro League, uh, we'll look to do that again with me and Brad from Supercoach Pro. We'll make sure we'll try to get Ryan and um, uh, Stephen involved, Grace's Secret involved, because they did make the grand final. So uh, if you're Grace's Secret or Stuart's Misfits, uh, Ryan and Stephen, um, we'd love to add you again for next year. And then the SDS Supercoach League, we'll look to do that once again. Um, yeah, I think it'll just be those two leagues. We'll look to spread it out a bit differently, that sort of thing. So, look, um, I'll do some thank yous and all that. Um, so, look, thank you for everything. Like, it's been a, a really good season. Started content uh, for this season in December, uh, like when the team picker came out, December last year, and then uh, the season sending now. So thank you guys very much for if if any of you have ever viewed my channel, subscribed, liked, commented, whatever, disliked. Um, I really do appreciate it because we started the preseason on six hundred uh, no one hundred and fifty seven subs, and now we finish on about six fifteen. So I'm super thrilled about that, and uh, I can't thank you guys enough. So thank you, and we'll we will be back for next year. Now to thank all the um youtubers content creators i made uh t twitter all that stuff made so many connections this year met a lot of the community so that was awesome i remember back in round two that i met uh a lot of the fantasy take tv discord so it was great to meet everyone there um meeting jd so shout out to jd great season that he had um george as well uh spills i remember i met spills in round one so yeah, so thank you to Spills. He, uh, great to meet up with him, and he's just such a ripper bloke. George, thank you, George. Um, it was great to meet you as well at Gather Round. So uh, we've been chatting here and there. So thank you very much to George, one of the Supercoach icons of uh, AFL Supercoach YouTube. Uh, JD as well, great. It was great to meet him. Uh, hopefully uh, we can all uh, catch up for a game next season. Um, just all the content creators uh, and Twitter, all that sort of stuff. Tim Mitchell, that does it. Um, he shared me on Twitter today, so I will look to get back to that after this video. Uh, Al, Al Payton does a great job as well. Um, I'm really trying, I'm going off the cuff here. Uh, who else? Uh, Janeth, Ripper Bloke, Ripper Bloke, um, met him. Yeah, so I met a lot of the people at the AFL Supercoach event at the pub at crown it was really good to meet all these people and uh so shout out to everyone from there um shout out to the super coach insider they do a great job those boys so shout out to them janeth with uh the third man up on twitter and um uh, being on the super coach sword play podcast he's been a great addition to that uh ben eno from uh, fantasy take tv as well Shout out to him. He got me in, into a video in pre-season. It was great to do a video with him. So he's a ripper bloke. Um, Shorty, Shorty, he was really sort of the first ever AFL Supercoach content creator that uh, I ever I ever saw with his videos. Been watching him for years. He's just an absolute legend as always. So shout out to Shorty, ripper bloke, and uh, one of the funniest blokes you'll meet. Um, uh, another one goes to... Uh, Supercoach with DR because uh, this is really good uh, and he definitely deserves a shout out because we'll be doing NBL Supercoach on, uh, content on YouTube, so that'll be good fun. Uh, and also he got me on the uh, pre-season AFL team preview with Hawthorne as I'm a Hawks man. And it was great to uh, for him to give me an opportunity because I was, last year I was sort of struggling to get uh, get views, all that sort of stuff. But Dow really opened me up to the rest of the community, getting me on the channel. Um, and he's just such a ripping bloke. So shout out to Dr. He really helped me out this year. So I couldn't be thankful enough for him. Uh, all these blokes, um, Supercoach Edge, shout out to those boys. Hippo, Supercoach, Supercoach God. Abs Magic, he, he was really good uh, for me as well. So shout out to all those boys, the new content creators as well. I know Supercoach Edge isn't new, but... Uh, blokes like Hippo, Supercoach God, uh, Abs Magic, shout out to all those guys. Um, I'm really trying my best to not forget anyone. Uh, 
Uh, Abs Magic, as I said. Uh, Supercoach Masters, they're a new one as well. Um, they had some really good content this year. So uh, them as well. I'm really trying to uh, remember everyone. And uh, look, I'll leave this lastly. Brad from Supercoach Pro. We made a lot of content throughout this year, mate. And uh, yeah, it was such good fun. It was such good fun this year. You're such a funny bloke, such a ripper bloke. Um, we're not always eye to eye on opinions, but that'd be boring. So it'd be uh, so it's been a great season for us, and we'll look to do more content over the off season. Oh, look! If I haven't said anyone's name, I appreciate it a lot. Thank you to anyone that's commented consistently on the channel. I really do appreciate it, and I think that'll be a name for me next year. I was a little bit slack on replying to comments. I'll definitely make sure that I do that more next season because I really do appreciate anyone that likes, subscribes, comments, all that sort of good stuff. Shout out to anyone on Twitter that I've ever interacted with this season with Supercoach who's followed me, liked, viewed a comment, uh, sorry, viewed a tweet. So it's all been great. So um, I'm really appreciative of everything. Um, I will say though, uh, for 2024, it's going to be very exciting to do because uh, I'm definitely gonna. I'm definitely looking at a couple of ideas for next year. I won't go into detail about that just yet, but you'll see when the time comes. Um, and a real personal aim for mine. I, I started this uh, this uh, goal for, during the preseason last year, but I'll just I'll just remember everyone that uh, I would love to get to a thousand subscribers before round one, 2024. So that is going to be the aim. We're on six fifteen now, it's definitely possible. So. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, like, all that stuff. So it would be an absolute honour to uh, to get to a 1,000 subs somehow. Uh, so I'll be doing content with DR on NBL Supercoach. Um, so that'll be good fun. And also Corey. And, yeah, look, if I have forgotten anyone, I really do apologise. There are so many good content creators. Also, uh, Dr. Supercoach watched a lot of their captain's videos and podcasts, so they were really good as well. Um, yeah, those are really the main one, uh, not the main ones. I might've forgotten a couple. And if I did, I really do apologize. I do actually mean that, but yeah, look, thank you guys very much for this season. It's been a good ride. It's been good fun. And, uh, I'll look to do it all again next year, but for now, um, I'll do probably an AFL Supercoach trade period video, um, maybe a draft video and some NBL Supercoach. So look from there, um, I'm going to enjoy a bit of a break. Uh, I will still be making content, but just not as frequently. It'll be NBL Supercoach, mate, uh, for the majority of it. I play uh, Fantasy Premier League. Uh, I'll play AFLW uh, Fantasy during the off-season as well. So, And, uh, of course, NBL Supercoach. So that'll be my, my main stuff during the off-season on what I play because Super, AFL Supercoach is my favourite game for sure. But I really do enjoy those other um fantasy games as well so look thank you guys very much for watching uh thank you all for all the support this year it's been a great season been my best ever rank so i couldn't have uh asked for a better season so thank you guys a lot and i'll see you guys in the next video cheers guys thank you very much oh wait press the wrong button my bad my bad all right thank you guys enjoy the off season